If you are a Pro Tools refugee that's now using Kakos Reaper, or if you use both and prefer the look of Pro Tools, then you will love this. This is a relatively brand new theme that looks a lot like Pro Tools 10 or 11. Now one of the tricks is you have to undock the mixer, and the way you do that is you right click here, and then choose this, and there you go. Now it's undocked. If you have dual monitors, you can just put it on your other monitor. Otherwise, just keep it here. I like to just keep it to the side, maybe split the screen halfway, or just have it to the side, and then I can scroll once the tracks are up. It works fine. The guy who made this theme is making an updated version called the Gold Edition or something like that for anybody who donates to him. So I highly recommend it. I'm on that list because this looks like a theme I'll be using from here on out into the future. It's finally replaced Reaper version 3's default theme, which is crazy. And you know what? Not only can you have Reaper look like Pro Tools, but you can also get it to control like it as well. So if you're used to their keyboard shortcuts, that's not an issue. Reaper has this extensively editable actions list that you can go through, or other Reaper users have already created key maps that you can just import. You may need some software extensions to get things to work 100% properly, and I'll link to those below, as well as to instructions on how to really get all this stuff to work. So don't worry about that. But just to get Reaper to look like Pro Tools is really easy. This has been Adam for RealHomeRecording.com.